Hello there, and welcome to lesson number six. We are going to start to do some two-dimensional drawing today. Today we're going to cover the line and polyline commands. Now, as you can recall, probably from, I believe, lesson number three, there are at least three different ways to enter commands in Rhino. Number one is to use the icons. These icons can change depending upon what these little tabs above them do. I'm going to go back to standard here in the upper left. You can also choose the tabs. In this case, we're going to be drawing lines. Those can be found under the curve menu. The last thing you can do is just begin to type them in, right? So in this case, the line command is called line. So if I begin to type in li, you'll notice up here at the top in the command line, the first thing that will pop up is line because Rhino assumes that's what you're going to want to do. It also has any anything and everything that has an li either in it or starting with an li, okay? So let's go ahead, I'm going to escape out of this. And also remember, right now I have the command help on, right? You can find that up here by going to help, command help. And if you select that, you will get this little menu over here that will explain to you how to do all of these commands, okay? So let's go ahead and begin with the line command. Now the line command can be found in this icon right over here on the far left. It's the second one down on the left. There's a little triangle. If I click on that triangle, I'll get a flyout menu. I'll put my mouse up here on this gray bar and I can pull out this entire menu. And this all deals with two dimensional line commands, right? So if I hover over the first one, that's a single line. If I hover the, over the second one, that's called a polyline. Okay, single lines are line segments. Polylines are lines that are joined. You'll see that in a second. Third one is a line from midpoint. These are all different options in terms of how you can draw a line, right? And how that line may relate to geometry that already is existing in your model, okay? Now, the other way to do it, we've, we just found the line command in the icons. Next way to find the line command is to go up here to curve, line, and then if I hover over it for a second, I have different options of the type of lines that I'm going to be doing. Okay, and the third one is to just type it in, like I said, L-I-N-E, enter. All right, now, again, it's over here. You'll see where can you find it. Just two places, the toolbar and in the menu. Sometimes there are more places to find it, and it will give you some options on how to draw a line. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just left-clicking, and that will allow me to draw a single line. I'll go ahead and hit my space bar to repeat that command and I'm drawing a single line. Now what you should be doing, I'm hitting the space bar, clicking once, clicking twice, drawing a line. You'll notice, and I'm going to go up here and select the single line icon again, you'll notice right up here at the top it says start of line. Okay, What I've been doing is just clicking and clicking, clicking once and clicking a second time to get those lines to show up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to left click, drag a window around all of these line segments and go ahead and delete them. All right, we're going to run this command again. This time I'm going to go up to curve, line, single line. And now it says start of line. What all I've been doing so far is just clicking somewhere. I can also enter some point in Cartesian space, right? Now, this down here, this red line, this is our x-axis, and this green line here is our y-axis. If you don't know what they are, right down here in the lower left-hand corner, it's showing me that all these lines going this way are in the x-direction, all the lines going vertically are in the y-direction, okay? Now, notice I'm still in the top view. If I was in all four views, things would look a little bit different. Okay, we're not going to concern ourselves with that. We're just going to learn how to draw some lines for a while. If I wanted to put my line somewhere else, like at 0, 0, I could say, all right, the start of my line, I can say I want that to be at 0, comma, 0, comma, 0. And you can see up here in the command line, I've answered that question, where do you want to start your line? And I'll hit Enter. Okay, and now I can begin to drag and draw a line. All right. Now it says end of line. I can also say I want this line to end at 5, 5. So 5 in the x, 5 in the y, 
and there we go it's just drawn a line for me okay I'm gonna go ahead and escape get out of that command okay so those are a couple different ways to draw single lines poly lines are up here I'm going to select this one now you notice when I draw a polyline what happens is every time I click this line stays connected now if I want to close this I can either drag my mouse over it and if my snaps are on it may snap to it and I'll talk about the snaps in just a moment or in, in, in another lesson but I can also if I want this all to be one closed line I can just type the number C in the letter C rather and hit enter and that will actually close that line for me okay so same thing if I want to be specific I can go down here select my polyline command and it'll say po start a polyline I can say I could say 0 comma 0 comma 0 but I can also just type in the number 0 enter and if you do that Rhino just assumes that you're what you're talking about the origin All right. so next point of polyline I could say minus 5 comma minus 5 enter and it went down there to minus 5 minus 5 now next point of polyline I could say 6 comma minus 2 enter and now what I could do is I could tap in the number C and hit enter and close it All right so those are lines and polylines I'm gonna go ahead and stop the lesson right here and in the next lesson we're going to talk about relative versus actual coordinates in drawing lines. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next lesson.